<laughs> in his new series, Bill Weir takes us every place from the Taj Mahal to the Galapagos, the Greek island of Ikaria, and an experience of places and creatures that might not be here for much longer. Here he is, Mr. Bill Weir. He's the host of The Wonder List. Hey, Don. How do you like that? I love that. It's very symmetrical. That's the volcano in Vanuatu. We yeah, I, yeah, you're admiring. We were admiring that before. <laughs> Last time you were here, you were sitting here, and now you're there, and you got this new gig. Isn't how you, How are you liking oh, it? Oh, my God. It's amazing. I'm having the best time. You best are. Time. This is fun, too. This is fun. But, you know, there's certain limitations of time and space when you've got to be live every day. And, yeah. I, you know, I like getting off planes in new countries and talking to all different kinds of people. Where, you, where to this time? Because we, you, we watched you last week spearfish with uh, uh, Nivanuatu and you right. climbed the volcano. Right. This week you're going to exotic animals in the Galapagos. Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, mass extinction. You know, we're living through the sixth great extinction. And unlike the other five, uh, we can't blame this one on asteroids or an ice age. This one's our fault. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's stunning if you think about the fact that the Earth is, you know, best science tells us it's about 4.6 billion years old, which is too big a number to comprehend. So if we would put it in our age yes. terms, yes. let's say. And we're journalists. I'm not that good at that. Yeah, yeah. Either. So let's, <laughs> let's pretend the Earth is my age, 46. Uh, human beings showed up four months ago, and the Industrial Revolution oh. was 60 seconds ago. And in that time, uh, we've cut down half the forest, we've eaten half the fish, we've dammed most of the rivers, and so a lot of species are going away, but in the Galapagos, they're trying to stop it. So Darwin's old stomping ground, yes. you're going to see, you're going to take the footsteps, you're going to go face to face with endangered species that very few humans ever see up close. I think you're nuts sometimes, <laughs> but let's watch this. I am headed to a deserted island with a cold-blooded killer. Alright. Oh, this is cool. Hey, man. People don't get to step on this. I no, no, people don't get to come here. Champion Island. His name is Carl Campbell. Big hearted in his love for animals, but cold blooded in what he is willing to do to save them. I hear the cheep, the chirp. Yeah, so there's one just up here. We can go a little bit further. Oh, look, he's right here. And he has brought me to this tiny haven to look for the one creature that inspired Darwin's ideas more hey. than any other. Hey, what's up, buddy? Well, I came a long way to see you. The Floriana Mockingbird. My goodness, look at how chill he is about us being here. He doesn't even seem to mind. Yeah, so when Darwin uh, came here, he collected these guys with a stick. Just whacked them with a stick? Just whacked them with a stick. That's how, that's how naive they are. They didn't know to fear man yet. They don't know how to fear anything. You know, they don't really have any predators out here. And there's maybe 90 left in the world. In the world, total. This is one of the world's rarest birds. One of the world's rarest birds. So why, and why so important? Well, uh, it was one of Darwin's most important uh, species. It influenced his ideas uh, more than any other birds as well. But uh, the, a lot of the attitude is, we broke it, we should fix it. And the reason that bird is endangered uh, is three reasons. Human beings who brought rats and cats to, the, to their home island. They've eaten the eggs. They've also gone after giant tortoise eggs as well. But that guy, Carl Campbell, he, he helped save a giant tortoise species uh, that was endangered by invasive goats. Wait, why do you call him a cold-blooded killer? Because they, he got into a helicopter and with a sniper rifle spent five years and shot 200,000 goats from the air. So we've reached a point in sort of human evolution where, where we're forced to play God, deciding which animals have to die so these few endangered ones can live. Yeah, you were, you were mentioning tortoises because you, you encounter tortoises there yeah. as well. Yeah, they're the size of this desk. Really? They're, they're amazing, yeah. And what happened was, you know, back when the whalers and the pirates were sailing, they would come onto these islands, and it's the easiest protein anybody's ever hunted. They'd put them in the, in the hold of their ship, you'd flip them upside down where they can live without food or water for a year. Mm -hmm. And so they'd eat this tortoise stew, and then they'd leave goats on these islands so they'd have them a different meat when they sail home, yeah. which then ate all the... So it's, it was a fascinating study about unintended consequences and how fast something can go. Darwin no, knew that they were being overhunted, but they still brought a few dozen back on the beagle and ate them back to England. So where else? Uh, next week, we're going to go to uh, Ikaria, this island in Greece where people live to be 100 at a staggering rate, but now they're getting Facebook and junk food, and people are worried <laughs> that they're going right. to turn into us. And then we'll do India and look for tigers after that, and we, we, we got a bunch of good ones coming Okay, up. so there's a reason for this close. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to spin, okay. and you're going to close your eyes and point, All right. and then that's where you're going to go. All right. All right. Uh, okay, what does it say? 
San Diego. Uh, no. <laughs> no. A whale. Actually, no, no you do got that. me down here in Cabo San Lucas. That's oh, fun. really? Uh, well, but there's some great stories down here. You know, there's the, the, the monarch butterfly migration that comes across North America and down into Mexico. That's on, uh, that's on my wonder list, hopefully, for season two. I'd go to Cabo. Yeah, we could go. Yeah, I could stay in the hotel and you can go out and look for endangered, endangered margaritas. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Good to see you down there. Thanks, man.